This is National 5 Maths. We're looking at the solutions to the SIRT assessment and we've got five questions and six marks per question. So that's a total of 30 marks for this assessment. When we're simplifying SIRTs, remember we're looking for square numbers to help us out. And for this clip, I'm going to go reasonably quickly through the questions. So here we go. Right, for 1a, we've got root 20. So I'm going to break that down into a square number, which will be root 4 times root 5, because 4 times 5 gives me the 20. And then the square root of 4 is going to be 2. Solution is going to be 2 root 5. Root 48, well, I could break that down into 4 and 12, but uh, the best one to, to use would be root 16 and root 3. From root 16, I'm going to get 4 and I've got root 3 left, and that's it simplified fully. For root 800, well I could use 108, but there's a better solution to it. I've got root 400, and I've got root 2. Uh, the square root of 400 is going to be 20, so it's going to be 20 root 2. Now if you used uh, 108, then certainly you could simplify that further again, and if over here you used 4 and 12, then certainly you could simplify the, the root 12 down further to get the final answer. But these are the final answers that I'd be looking for here. Right, so the way it's going to be marked, we're going to get uh, one mark for, for this one here, one mark for that. Same again, and same again. Okay. There are probably be one mark if you use the, the, root, the root 4 and the, the root 12 and over here with the, the root 100 and the root 8, okay? So that's a total of six marks for this question here. Right, question two, let's see what we've got here. So for question two, we've got, uh, we're gonna multiply the following sorts and we're gonna simplify where appropriate. So I've got root two times root six. So when I multiply thirds, I can gather them together just under the one root. So that's gonna be root 12. So root 12, I can simplify down. I can simplify that with a square number. It will be root four times root three, and then simply coming out of that, my solution will be two root three. Moving on to B, multiplying the thirds part. So I've got two that's sitting there, and that's going to be root 18. Now root 18 can break down into a square number as well. I've got, I've got root nine and root two. The two of these multiply together to get root 18. Now the root 9, if I take the square root of 9, that's just going to be 3, and I've got the root 2 sitting there, so I multiply that out, 2 times 3 gives me 6, so it'll be 6 root 2 will be the solution. For C, what I'll do first of all is I'm going to multiply these numbers together here, okay? So 5 times the 4 is going to give me 20, and then the root 3 times root 30 will give me the root 90. Okay. From there what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify down the root of 90 and I'm going to use the square root of 9 and the square root of 10. Okay. So 9 times 10 will give me the 90. Now what I have here is the square root of 9 is going to be 3 and if I multiply that out so that's going to give me 60 root 10. Okay, let's see the marks for this question here. So I'm going to give uh, one mark for getting the root 12, one mark for getting the final answer there. 2 root 18 for this one, and then the final mark 6 root 2, for the 20 root uh, 90, and finally for getting 60 root 10. And again, this is going to be out of 6 marks. Right, moving on to question 3. Right, so question question three, we're going to be dividing the following sorts and we'll simplify where appropriate. Okay, for, for this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather these sorts here under the uh, the one larger sort. So it's going to be 24 over 8. So I can gather the two separate sorts under one large uh, square root sign. What I can do there is I can divide 24 by 8, and that's going to give me... Three. That's going to be my solution there. Okay, for this one here, I can't divide 8 and 9 together in any way, so what I'll do is I'm going to separate them. So I'm going to separate them into the root 8 and the root 9. Okay. 
From there, what I'll do is I'll work out the, uh, the, the top, the numerator, and I'll simplify that down to root 4, root 2, because 4 times 2 gives me the 8 that's there. That's all going to be over 3, because the square root of 9 is just 3. I'll then just simplify this part here, because the square root of 4 is just 2, so it's 2 root 2 on the top, and 3 on the bottom. So 2 root 2 all over 3. Over on this side here, I know that uh, 30, 350 can be divided by 7. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather them under the one larger root. Okay, so 350 all over 7. When I divide these out, what I'll get is the square root of 50. And from there, what I can do is I can simplify root 50 down into root 25 times root 2. So 25 times 2 gives me the 50. This is the square number, so that's going to give me a 5 root 2 answer. Okay, marking for this one. Okay, for going in that direction there, gathering it under one root and getting the root 3. Separating the roots on this one here and finally getting your final answer there. Gathering together and final mark there. Okay, so again, this is going to be out of six marks. Question four. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're trying to rationalise the denominator and simplifying. Right, so we're rationalising the denominator. What I'm going to be doing is multiplying by whichever root I see on the bottom. So for this question here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 3. Okay. Just multiplying straight across the way, what I get is on the numerator, 5 root 3, and on the bottom, root 3 times root 3 gives me root 9. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to simplify that down, so that'll give me a 3 on the denominator. That should be my final answer. Can't simplify that any further. Right, so on this one here, what I've got is I've got a root 7 on the bottom, so I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by root 7. Right, so that's going to give me 42 root 7. And then on the bottom, I'm going to go for root 49. Or I can go directly to 7, because root 7 times root 7 is going to just give me 7. Okay, so what I'll do in this next line, I'll just uh, show that. It's going to be all over 7. And I know that 7 and 42 can divide. So what I have here is 6 root 7, final answer. Over here I've got root 10 on the bottom, so what I'll do is I'll multiply the top and the bottom by root 10. So that's going to give me 5 root 10 on the top. On the bottom what I've got is 2, and that's going to be root 10 times root 10 gives me root 100. Now I know that that root 100 is going to give me 10 coming out of there, so that's going to be 5 root 10 on the top, that's going to be 2 times 10 on the bottom. When I then multiply that out, I've got 5 root 10 all over 20. And that simplifies down, so I've got 5 on the top, I've got 20 on the bottom. I can divide both of these by 5, so that'll leave me 1 on the top, which will just leave me root 10, and 4 on the bottom, which will give me final answer of root 10 over 4. Right, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to give you one mark for knowing to multiply by the root 3s on the top and bottom, and then finally getting the answer. Multiplying by the root 7s, getting the answer. Multiplying by root 10s, and final answer. So this will be worth 6 marks as well. Right, question 5. Right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to simplify and uh, we'll just uh, go ahead with these ones here. So first one, quite straightforward, I've got 8 root 5 plus 6 root 5, so 8 of them plus 6 of them should give me 14 of them, and I'm working with root 5s. So 14 root 5, that's, that's the answer to that one. For B, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify these thirds down, and hopefully I'm going to have a third that's got the same number, so let's simplify this one here. 
Okay, so that's going to be root 25 and root 2. I'd expect root 2 coming out of this one as well, so that I can gather them together. So if I've got root 2, so that must be 16 root 2. Yep, that works, and 16 is a square number. From there, what I can do is I can uh, take the square root of each of these numbers here, because they're square numbers. So that's 5 root 2 minus 4 root 2. Gathering that together, it's just 1 root 2, or just simply root 2. Right, for the last question, what we've got is we've got three parts to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify each of these down, and then I'm going to gather them up. So 48, well 48 could be the uh, 4 and 12, but remember that's one of these numbers that we can use root 16 with. So I can go for root 16 and root 3, and that should give me a clue for all the others here. So that's going to be plus 3 times, and I can split that into root 9 and root 3. So good, I've got root 3's coming out there. And then with the root 300, that could be split into 100 and a root 3. Right, so from there, what I'll do is I'm going to simplify this part down here. So I've got 4 root 3 coming out of that part there. For here, I've got 3 times. The square root of 9 is just 3. That's root 3. And that's minus, and that's going to be 10 root 3 that's there. Simplify this down a bit further. I'm just going to gather this here. So it's going to be plus 9 root 3 minus 10 root 3 here. So let's go for it. So I've got 4 root 3 plus 9 root 3. That would be 13 root 3. Take away 10 root 3 leaves me with 3 root 3. That's the final answer. Right, let's, let's have a look and see where the, the marks are gained here. So just one mark for this one here. Just gathering them together. One mark for splitting these down correctly, and final answer of root 2. Going for one mark for splitting these out in that manner there. I'm going to give one mark for getting the 9 root 3 for working that one through to there. And one final mark for getting 3 root 3. Okay, so this one here is also out of 6 marks. So the total for the assessment... out of 30, okay?